Am I wrong for leaving my friend without a bridesmaid? I, 31F, was asked in April to be a bridesmaid for my friend, Ashley, 32F, at her wedding this weekend, which is on July 1st. We went to school together and lived together for a year in college. She announced the engagement in December of 2022, and I had already planned to take time off for it. When she asked me, she was clear that it was because one of her other bridesmaids was pregnant and due in August. Ashley's other friend was already experiencing a difficult pregnancy, and I, being the most similar in height to her, agreed to be a bridesmaid. The next day, I received a PDF itinerary for May and June. It included a bridal shower in X-Town for Grandma 1, a bridal shower in Y-Town for Grandma 2, and a bridal shower in Z-Town for the future in-laws. Additionally, there was a Memorial Day party, and dress fittings number 3 and number 4 were scheduled for May. June had two bachelorette parties, one with her mom's family and another with her stepmoms and half-sisters' friends and families. There was also the final dress fitting. Every single weekend in May and June had commitments, and there were even some random weekdays too. Given that I have a work-from-home job, Ashley had brought up my flexible schedule when she asked me to be her bridesmaid. Oh, you have a flexible schedule and can work from anywhere, right? Technically, yes, but the issue is that I no longer live in the area, I moved halfway across the country. When I explained that it wasn't feasible for me to be there every single weekend, she just told me to come and stay until her wedding was over. Where would I even stay? She and her fiancé live in a one-bedroom apartment. Then she brought up staying in a hotel, but seriously? How much would two months in a hotel cost? Spoiler, a lot more than I currently have, and I also have pets. I made it clear to her that I would only be available for the rehearsal and wedding during the week. I did fly in for two days for a fitting and one of the bridal showers in May. After that, I was constantly berated in the group chat. Over the past month, I have been told I'm a bad friend for not being there for her by multiple people. She's been complaining to every soul we knew, even going so far as to complain about me to my parents. But the real kicker here is that Ashley didn't tell anyone that I lived out of state. She made it seem like I still lived in the area. She told everyone I refused to take a measly two hours out of my day to go to her bridal showers, when in reality, I would have to spend three hours on a plane both ways, and the additional time dealing with the airport and check-in. My mom said she talked to one of Ashley's grandmas because she attended that bridal shower and everyone was shocked to hear that I didn't live there anymore. However, they still judged me, saying, why would I agree to be a bridesmaid if I couldn't be there? I was under the impression I was an emergency fill-in for the big day to have an even wedding party. I also made it clear that I wouldn't be available except for the week of the wedding. I haven't spoken to anyone about this, except for one friend, let's call her Beth, who lives in the area. Beth did not go to school there or grow up there, I met her in college. Due to circumstances, she stayed with my parents for a while and decided to stay there permanently, so she bought a house. Besides my parents and some of her daughter's friends and teachers, she doesn't know anyone. However, she's heard a lot of gossip about me, like trivial high school gossip from 15 years ago. Ashley and I did have some issues, but I thought we were past that. We're in our 30s and both have different lives other than a small town high school. I confirmed with my mom and one of my sister's friends from high school who still lived in the area that these things were being said about me. I sent a message to Ashley last Wednesday, asking about it, but she denied it all. Friday night was her bachelorette party, and she and her other bridesmaids berated me again with nasty messages. And yes, our high school drama was about a boy, so I got things like, you're so mad Eric chose Ashley over you. She's not even marrying Eric, and he's 32, working at Dollar General and living with two roommates, so I say we both dodged something there. There were also texts about deeply personal things I shared with Ashley, things she knew I was self-conscious about. I know it shouldn't hurt, but it still does. The last two months have just propelled me back to my adolescence years when I was really shy and self-conscious, and I didn't want to revisit that part of myself. So I texted her Saturday morning that I wouldn't be at her wedding or even attending, and apologized for the short notice. I didn't bring up what she and her bridesmaids did the night before, I just said I wouldn't be coming. Immediately, I received a lot of angry messages and phone calls. She called me names, said I was ruining her life, etc. I had to block her number to get her to stop. So now I'm sitting on a red-eye flight back to my hometown because I had already purchased a flight before I was asked to be a bridesmaid. I'm going to spend time with my mom and my sister's family and hang out with my best friend. My mom and sister have already planned to boycott the wedding too. Although, I've been seeing mixed comments on Facebook about my behavior. Am I wrong for leaving my friend high and dry without a bridesmaid? Update 1. It's the day of the wedding, and I didn't want to be around town because I was informed through the grapevine that everyone was peeved when I didn't show up at the rehearsal, so I went shopping with my sister and her family today. I am about an hour away from the events. Ashley's mom tried to contact me last night, but I just ignored it. She called my mom at midnight last night, and my mom called her back this morning. Ashley did not tell anyone that I was not going to be at the wedding. Instead of just saying, up said she's not coming, she acted like she had no idea why I wasn't there. My mom told her mom what happened and even showed her the messages. I received messages from some of the groomsmen and extended family members saying I was causing drama on her wedding day. I still have Ashley and the bridesmaids blocked. 
When asked by people in my family, I just told them that I informed Ashley a week ago that I wasn't going to be there. One of my family members was like, I don't believe that's true. She seems really upset. I sent a screenshot of my last text to Ashley before blocking her, which basically said, I'm done, I can't do this anymore, I won't be at your wedding, sorry for the short notice. I didn't want to respond to messages because I knew that would create gossip at the ceremony and keep the fire burning, but at the same time, Ashley is playing the victim card and straight up lying now. I would have been okay if she played the victim and said, up cancelled on me last minute, boohoo, but she's straight up telling people that I just didn't show up. Some people have suggested just showing up, walking, and then leaving, but does she really want me in her wedding photos, videos, etc? Is that something she'll want to remember down the road? The person who ruined her wedding and caused drama? I messaged her sister, who isn't in the bridal party, and asked her what outcome Ashley was hoping to get from all this. I really want to crash the wedding now though. Should I be petty, or just stay away and try not to let it bother me? It is currently cloudy, miserable, and raining on and off, literally downpouring as I type this at 1pm, and the ceremony starts at 2pm, lol. Update 2. I think this is a much needed update that everyone needed to hear, as the wedding was cancelled. There was a full-on thunderstorm with hail during the time the ceremony was supposed to take place, and it was obvious that the garden area where it was to be performed was being flooded. A lot of people were already calling and asking if it had been changed to inside somewhere. They tried to do it at the church where their pastor came from, but there was already a wedding booked with the actual church as its venue and not just renting out an officiant for the day, if that makes sense. Several of my family members were present for what they described as a full-on mental breakdown from Ashley, she even threatened the pastor. She went on a rampage, and people were even trying to be helpful by offering their homes as a smaller venue to get married in. As literally all of the community board members were invited, they even got our town's community building for the reception and said they could just do the ceremony there too. But apparently, the community building wasn't good enough for her. Nothing was good enough for her. There are videos of her rampaging and screaming. She also said terrible, awful things about her pregnant friend, the bridesmaid that I was replacing in the first place. Comments like, why couldn't you just feed us delete us it and try again later, I hope your baby has so and so complications, and so on. When I first heard it was cancelled, I thought I was going to be blamed for that too, but it looks like Ashley hates just about everyone in her life and blew up at everyone in front of her, including the groom. I'm not sure if anything else happened because I just heard about all of this over dinner with my extended family. Very few people are talking about me now, but they are cringing at the meltdown Ashley had and the terrible, awful comments she said about her pregnant friend. I honestly wonder if her other bridesmaids are still on her side, because I know for sure some of the groomsmen aren't. I've been getting messages asking if Ashley was always like this, etc. I think they're trying to protect their bro from her now, lol. And yes, she's always had overdramatic freakouts where you had to ride it out, and the next day she'd act like it never happened. You could try to talk to her, and she'd just wave you off and be like, that's ancient history. I guarantee you she'll say that to her pregnant friend too. She'll probably try to show up when that baby is born, act like she didn't wish badly on it, and try to hold it. I hope everyone else can cut her off and doesn't fall back into her trap. I did that way too many times when I was younger.